Plans for a Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC protest march in Bulawayo next week have hit a roadblock after police barred the demonstration from taking place. The CCC intended to use the march to voice their grievances over Zimbabwe's disputed August election and the recent recalls of several of their members from Parliament by self-imposed Interim Secretary General Senjizo Chibangu. Organizers are required by law to give notice to authorities for such gatherings. However, CCC spokesman Promise Mwananzi claims over 100 of their meetings since June, including campaign events, have been banned by police intervention. Sure enough, Police Chief Superintendent Vusumuzi Komo wrote to the conveners confirming receipt of notification for the Bulawayo protest. But stating it did not comply with the provisions of the Maintenance of Peace and Order Act, without specifying how. The ban has only added fuel to long-simmering tensions. CCC leader Nelson Chimisa has denounced the election results and described the recalls as illegitimate. Those removed from office, like former Binga South MP Prince Dubiko Sibanda, are challenging the decisions in court but pushing ahead with calls for demonstrations. Mkwanonzi said the march was meant to exhaust all democratic options for new polls and a reversal of the recalls. But he warned that if stymied at every turn, the people may feel compelled to liberate themselves. Said Mwananzi, when all has failed, we will go to the citizens and say we have done everything permissible in a democratic society. It's over to you to take matters into your own hands and liberate your country. We will no longer be responsible or answerable from then on. The country will be freed. Please like. Comment. Share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.